Hey, what's up? This is Bo. Welcome to my channel, Barracuda Time. In this channel, I will be sharing watch collection, travel, and other unique experiences. If you are also a fan of watches and travels, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, same name, Barracuda Time. In this video, we will review the Rolex Explorer 1 114270. This model replaced the first modern Rolex Explorer 14270 and was produced from 2001 to 2010. After this model, Rolex discontinued the 36mm Explorer and started making 39mm Explorer for 11 years until 2021 when 36mm 124270 was released again. Explorer is one of the oldest sport watch series manufactured by Rolex. In 1953, Rolex launched Explorer for high altitude Himalaya climbing and Submariner for diving. Since then, the 369 numbered marker style became Explorer iconic until now. This watch we have today was produced in 2003. Now, let's open the box. It's the beige outer box, and inside of it is the green inner box. Opening it, we can see that there's a watch, a seal, and the certificate with manuals. Here's the watch. As a sporting watch for climbing, this watch was designed to be doable and easily readable. This purpose gets the design of the whole watch. This watch is made with stainless steel, a doable and affordable material with 36 mm in diameters. This may feel a little small now, but it was a pretty popular size back in the 50s. 36 mm is also the most iconic size of Rolex Datejust, the most popular classic watch by Rolex. This watch has a small crown, which matches its 36 mm size. The flat sapphire crystal is located higher than the bezel, which reduces the chance of bezels being scratched. However, its simplest flat bezel is still a good collector of scratches. The dial is the iconic Rolex Explorer dial. On the matte black background, the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock markers are in numbers. 12 o'clock marker is in triangle, and other hour markers are in bars. The bar and triangle hour markers are filled with green superluminova materials, while the white gold number markers are painted with the white number on the top with no illumination. Above the center, there is a Rolex logo and Oyster Perpetual Explorer words. Below the center, there is Superlative Chronometer Officially Certified words. At the bottom of the dial, there is a print of Swiss made. Like other Rolex sport watches, this watch uses the iconic Mercedes handset. The hands are also filled with green superluminova materials. So in the dark, outdoor environment, the time is always easily readable. Here's the Lumi in the dark. Compared with the previous Explorer model 14270, a major upgrade of 114270 is caliber 3130. This caliber features a simple three hands function without date. It beats at 28,800 bits per hour with 48 hour power reserve and has 31 joules. The caliber is paired with a bi-directional rotor, which winds the watch efficiently. Like other Rolex watches, 
This watch has closed back. The second major upgrade of 114270 from the previous model is the solid end links on Oyster bracelet. This makes this bracelet more robust. My wrist is 6.5 inch and this watch definitely looks small on my wrist in the modern time. Like I've mentioned, from the 1950s to now, the popular watch size has been increasing from 36 to 40 millimeters. This watch is quite versatile, which fits both casual and formal situations. Since discontinued in 2010, the price of this watch has been gradually increasing on the market, which I believe is mainly due to inflation. Now in the United States, a good condition watch with box and papers is usually priced at $6,000 on the secondary market. This Rolex Explorer 114270 is the last 36 mm diameter model before Rolex started making larger ones. It has the iconic Explorer design, including the simple black dial with white markers, 369 numbered markers, and sporty hands. Actually, a lot of people believe this is a great one watch collection. Now, Rolex is offering Explorer 1 in two diameters, 36 mm and 40 mm. Which diameter do you prefer? Please leave your answer in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the thumb up button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time.